Paris was fashion sketch artist Joe Eula. His barbed tongue and opinionated ideas of what women should wear make him something of a cross between Don Rickles and Coco Chanel. and I had to buy a dress, I'd sure want the whole dress. So, you know, I'd go back and ask for the other half. Take a death shot of that dog. That is Yves Saint Laurent. <laughs> Nobody knows it, but that's the designer. Any woman that's going to look like that has to be put in jail immediately quartered, drawn, and fed to the pigs. The fact that he claims to have been sketching runway shows for close to a century now is a good example of why one shouldn't take everything Joe Eula says without a grain of salt. While some designers, insulted by his barbed comments, consider him a nasty little man, others, like good buddy Yves Saint Laurent, take all his remarks in stride and embrace him for the colorful character that he is. Ah, j'adore Joe depuis que je le connais. Il n'a jamais changé. Il est toujours aussi gay, toujours aussi intelligent. Son dessin est toujours magnifique. Il est pas beau. Ah, non, absolument pas. In a business almost entirely dominated by photographers, the once popular art of sketching is almost a mere curiosity now. Yet the 68-year-old wouldn't dream of giving up his pen and paper in exchange for these newfangled ways. In fact, he only half-jokingly implies that the days of photography are numbered. Well, everybody takes pictures. It's old-fashioned. The camera, you realize, is just a manipulative source to get these people off their ass. It is over with. It's done. Eula's process of drawing relies heavily on his knowledge of fashion and a near photographic memory. As the models whiz down the runway, he quickly interprets the clothes onto his sketch pad and later recalls their exact coloring when back in his studio. Of course, part of the beauty in this type of art form is the sketcher's ability to take a liberty or two. That's one good thing about a camera. I can lie and get away with it. They can't. You see, they don't have that stretch of the imagination to be able to transport you into Never Never Land like this does. Did you, I never, did yes, you? I did. I did. I did a crash course for one year because that's all the money I had. It was the GI Bill of Rights that gave me that one year. And after that, I went to South America like every good whore. Checked it out and realized that wasn't for me. It was a flip of a coin. Came to Europe, and I've been doing this bloody stuff ever since. This girl had a lovely ass. Working exclusively for Italian Harper's Bazaar, one of the few publications that still consistently uses sketches in their fashion coverage, Eula feels his drawings add much more than just color to the magazine's layout. They give it style, they give it punch, they give it pathos, they give it a kind of a thing that's missing, they give it the, the life, they give it vive, they give it, you know, energy. <laughs> It's a hell of a lot better than his collection. <laughs> a nice horny little suit for a fat lady. In a town where the two most popular words seem to be breathtaking and marvelous, Eula's biting remarks often infuriate the very designers he depends upon as a source for his drawings. Yet upsetting fashion personalities doesn't seem to be something the artist is overly concerned with. Why should I make them mad? If they put themselves out there like damn signboards, they're setting themselves up for a shot. And if you don't take a shot at them in this life, you've missed it. <laughs>